You're watching Buzz with Jess Luhan. We are back to the Buzz, and of course, my in studio guest, um, Pam Eastlick for the uh, University of Guam, the coordinator for the planetarium. Now, now Pam. Again, I'm, I'm confused, and you're there. Um, you don't know the details as well. We're outsiders try, trying to help uh, this, this situation. Imagine how confused we are mm -hmm. as, as outsiders <clears throat> and supporters of the, of the planetarium. Now, we heard that, that, that they, were, they wanted to turn this into a classroom. Is this not a classroom? Is this uh, not a classroom? Uh, it's definitely a classroom, okay. yes, okay. sir. So they want to turn it into a different classroom as opposed different to kind a of classroom, different kind of classroom. Yes. Okay. So we heard that. We've heard that they're very concerned about a typhoon that may come and, and some other classes are in a storage place or whatever. Okay. Now, in, in um, making inquiries at the University of Guam, my understanding is in, within the science, the science building it is. I, I don't know if it's the same building that you're housed in at this point. Uh, room 117 has been has been vacant I think for the past three or four years and and my understanding is that that room has been used for storage my uh, I, I've been told again from my sources that uh, that uh, I guess um, the, the folks in the University of Guam have, have told people well we don't have enough money for plywood to to uh, <clears throat> to um, sh uh, close off the the uh, I guess the stairwells to use that instead for storage area so they can use the um, the, um, the classroom, which can house maybe between 30 and 40 students per, per class. Now, I, I thought there was a shortage of, of classrooms right, within the, the, the science, science class. Wow, I, I was unaware of that. Yeah. I, I wondered <laughs> what was happening with 117. I hadn't seen much activity, mm. but then it's downstairs and I don't go down okay. there much, but well, check check it tomorrow. Knock on the door. See who's there. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll do that. Yes. And, and the other thing that that I'm I'm just I'm really ticked off about. Okay, the auditor's report came out. You know, and it showed that uh, 174 thousand dollars between uh, fiscal year 2010 and 2011. Okay, un unaccountable. And this is just not University of Guam, but the University of Guam's 174 thousand dollars unaccountable for gas being used to the University of Guam, and this is to fill up your tank. Now, uh, I don't know if that's in line, I don't know if the expenditure, the over-expenditure, 174,000 is in line maybe with the, the University School of, uh, of, of uh, Business Administration. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's in line with, with, with students that want to get into the field of auditing. I, 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 have, I have no, no idea. idea. I don't know. <laughs> and, and so when I'm reading this, when, when I'm making inquiries and they're talking about the lack of classrooms, um, and they said we want to look at the planetarium to turn it into a classroom, a class that was was designed for the planetarium, and then you have a, a classroom, 117 in the in the science building that can house 30 to 40 students, and instead being used for storage, and they're needing to find a storage place, but they don't have money for for plywood to uh, to. <clears throat> I guess uh, block off the stairwell so they can put that and use that for storage. I mean, something is. I mean, as a taxpayer, I'm really mad. <laughs> I'm you know, really mad. As a taxpayer, I'm kind of upset myself. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yes. A anyway, um, so you're given. I, I guess you and your 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 superior uh, are in charge of exploring your your options. So, uh, where do you start? Well, I've been told to start with portable planetariums, hmm? which are, are small, you know, you can kind of take them apart, you take them to schools and all of that, and, and I will certainly do that. And I've also been told that uh, the, perhaps the planetarium will be moved to the Guam Museum, and I think I, I don't know if the Guam Museum had the master plan to be to to be inclusive of the planetarium. Yeah, I, I, don't I don't either. I, I, I don't I don't think so. I mean, I could be wrong, but you know, I, and I guess things can change. But I don't think that was the that was, that was the idea. But of that's the, the one Guam of Museum. the options I've been told to explore. Hmm. Well, again, um, is it not conducive to, to keep it there since the building and the housing of the planetarium is housed? in a place designated and built and designed for for the planetarium. That's true, sir, and you know, I have no answers. 
Well, I, again, if you have no answers, I definitely, I'm looking for answers. I understand you know? that. And, and so, anyway, where, where do we go for, uh, from here? Because th this, this can't happen. This is the wrong thing to do. And Dr. Underwood, shame on you. Shame on you for, for considering this. Because as one, as an indigenous folks, one who wanted to start your own party at one point and, and, and talk about the indigenous fishing rights and, and the folks and the importance of uh, of, of enhancing the, the, the Chamorro culture, and you have traditional um, uh, navigators who are working closely with you yes, to sir. navigate uh, through the, by, the, by the stars and wanting now to close a facility, the only facility within 1,500 miles uh, yes. around here. The most isolated planetarium in the world. It is, it is, it is a shame, and the, the biggest shame about this thing is that you have smart, educated people who come from academia making stupid, I, making stupid decisions such as this. You I'm said, very sorry. You said that, so <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> anyway, hey, thank you very much. I appreciate you coming in here. Good luck. Uh, we're going to help you save the, uh, the planetarium. Um, keep us informed on uh, what you're doing, and we'll get the word out for you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Join me tomorrow morning in the Buzz Isla 63, your Chamorro Radio Station. We'll talk more about this. Let's move to, to Save the Planetarium. Tomorrow, this Isla 63, your Chamorro Radio Station. Good night for now.